students in previous video or class we have discussed studied some of the important cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum ribosome mitochondria and golgi body now we are going to study another cell organelles now the one of which is lysosome now lysosomes are the a small vesicle like structures the it is formed from the golgi body it contains digestive enzymes called hydrolase which helps in digesting decomposing the foreign substances and some cell organelles are also destroyed damaged cell organelles are also destroyed by its own lysosome inside the cell this is why the lysosome is also known as suicidal bag so we write here that is it is vesicle vesicle like structure vesicle like structure a structure formed formed from golgi body golgi body now it contains it contains digestive enzymes digestive enzymes digestive enzymes called hydrolases hydrolytic enzyme uh, we say or hydrolases hydrolases it contains digestive en enzymes so it decomposes it decomposes or digests foreign substances foreign particles particles or substances substance substances so we say that it is the site of it is the site of intracellular digestion intracellular digestion means the digestion the decomposition takes place inside the cell now students some damaged cell organelles some damaged cell organelles organelles are destroyed are destroyed by its its own lysosome own lysosomes so lysosome is called suicidal bag suicidal bag suicidal bag of the cell so this is the lysosome which is made from the golgi body that is uh, some a vesicle from the golgi body changes into lysosome now the next structure is the centrosome a students we see that is centrosome it is found it is found only in the animal cell only in the animal cell so we have to remember here centrosomes if the question is asked name the cell organelle which is found only in animal cell then it is centrosome now we see that is it is clear round body round a space near the nucleus near the nucleus in the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm cytoplasm which contains which contains a small bundle like structure bundle like structure 
कॉल्ड सेंट्रियोल्स सेंट्रियोल्स सो इट इज अपेयर राउंड द स्पेस नियर द न्यूक्लियस इन द साइटोप्लाज्म व्हिच कंटेन्स अ स्मॉल बंडल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर कॉल्ड सेंट्रियोल्स एंड एक्चुअली इट इज अ सेंट्रोजोम दैट इनिशिएट्स इट इनिशिएट्स सेल डिवीजन सेल डिवीजन सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेज स्टेप a structure in the animal cell which initiates cell division actually if you will study the cell division topic in higher class then in animal cell the first change that take place that centrosome divides into two centrioles which start to migrate towards opposite poles so its function is to initiate and initiate cell division and also regulates it regulates it so this is the important function of centrosome now the next structure the next structure in the in, uh, in the cell is that is the 71 plastid plastids they are A small a structures only in the plant cell. So centrosome was present only in animal cell, and plastids are present only in the plant cell. Only in the plant cell. Now we see that the students plastids are of three types: leucoplast, chromoplast. and chloroplast so now it is of three types first leucoplast actually these three types are on on the basis of leucoplast on the basis of type of coloring material pigments present in it now leucoplast it is colorless it is colorless plastid and it stores it stores food mainly starch mainly starch in the plant since it is it stores food so it is mostly present in those parts where the food has to be a stored so it is mostly found in found in the parts parts of plant where food is a stored food is a stored like root a stem and mesophyll of leaf mesophyll of leaf now actually they are found mostly in parenchyma parenchymatous tissue now leucoplast uh, since it stores food so it is found in the parts where food is stored clear student now the second structure second type of plastid is chromoplast chroma means color chromoplast so it contains it contains colored pigments colored pigments colored pigments now we see these pigments are generally called colored pigments generally generally called carotene carotenoids or carotene carotenoids like red red pigment orange orange yellow and so on now it contains colored pigments generally called now you see 
that uh, they are found in they are found in petals of flower petals of flower which impart different color to the flower petals of flower and ripened fruits ripened fruits or that is in fruits it is also found there are some more pigments which are not present in the chromoplast plastid but they are remain dissolved in cell sap so here you see that is some pigments some pigments remain remain dissolved in dissolved in cell sap cell sap and are and are and are that is violet purple etc they are called anthocyanin anthocyanins so these are the two types of pigments one which is found in plastid that is chromoplast called carotenoid and some pigments are water soluble they are remain dissolved in cell sap not in the cell organelle these are called anthocyanins now students we see here that suppose a question is asked give reason give reason carrot carrot when boiled in water boiled in water the water remain colorless the water remain colorless but when beetroot beetroot is boiled the water the water becomes colored now what is the reason behind it we see here that is carrot contains carrot contains carotene or we write carotenoid which is insoluble in water which is insoluble in water but beetroot contains beetroot contains anthocyanin anthocyanin which is soluble in water which is soluble in water and so on so we will make the statement complete that is therefore when beetroot is boiled in water anthocyanin dissolves in water and water becomes colored so this type of question is asked in uh, related to chromoplast now a student then the third type of plastid is chloroplast chloroplasts now these are these are double walled a double membrane sac like a structure a structure and contain green pigment green pigment chlorophyll so the pigment present in pigment present in chloroplast is chlorophyll and it helps in photosynthesis that is it traps sunlight and helps in photosynthesis 
photosynthesis that is it is a site of photosynthesis it is a site of manufacturing of food by the plant cells so it is found only in those cells those parts where the photosynthesis has to take place so it is found in green leaves green leaves and young green stems stem so this is its location now a student one more thing normally we say that dna is located inside the nucleus in the nucleus but there are few cell organelles like mitochondria and chloroplast so we write here that chloroplast and mitochondria just uh, at that place we have not written because uh, they have to be together discussed chloroplast and mitochondria contain dna and hence they divide divide that is like binary fusion binary fusion they divide to increase number to to increase their number their number so this is one of the important point related to uh, chloroplast because sometimes the question is asked that name the cell organelle which contain uh, their own dna or it is asked that name the cytoplasmic structure that contains uh, dna now we have studied about cell organelles now we see that is the next one is non living structures non living structures or also called cell inclusions cell inclusions there are two types of structure in it one is granules and second is vacuole these are minute granular structures which contains the stored materials stored food materials that may be fat oil and other droplets so these are these are a small structures structures that store that store fat oil glycogen etc so this is the granular structure second structure is vacuole now in the cytoplasm there are a small clear bag like a structure that contain cell sap they do not contain any kind of cellular structure so these are a small clear bag like structure bag like structures structures now in animal cell in animal cell it is it is it is a small it is a small and fewer in number fewer in number but in plant cell plant cell it is it is large large and prominent and the vacuole the vacuole presses the nucleus on the peripheral side cytoplasm on the peripheral side now the fluid in it the fluid in it is called cell sap 
which consist of the watery fluid containing the dissolved substances in it cell cell one more thing student the membrane the membrane of vacuole prominent vacuole prominent vacuole vacuole in plant cell is called is called tonoplast so wherever there will be some technical term you must underline it you must uh, remember it recall it such that you can answer the different uh, topics or questions related to it clear student